Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. Presently, we are along with Dr. Karthik Ponderan Jadav, Cardiologist, Apollo Hospital. Hi sir, how are you? Hello. Uh, sir, first of all, thank you so much for your valuable information to all of the audience. Sir, my first question is, what are the warning signs and symptoms of heart attack? So, heart attack, as we all know, the blood supply to the heart gets reduced or stops. So, when any blood supply to any part of the body reduces, it will have a counter reaction or a counter response. This counter response comes as a pain. It's like a warning sign for the patient. So, majority of the patients will present with pain. Now, when I say patients, we should remember that patients can be divided into diabetic patients or non-diabetic patients. So, diabetic patients that will deal with it little bit later but non-diabetic patients if they come usually what happens they present with commonest symptom what they present is with chest pain and chest pain usually will be central or left sided chest pain and how it will be it will be like a constricting pain like something is getting squeezed inside or somebody if uh, if somebody has put a belt very tight that will be the kind of pain person will suffer and moreover, moreover, along with pain, the pain might sometimes travel and also can involve the arm of the uh, patient, usually the left arm, wherein the patient will feel that the same pain is arising here in the left chest and it is going towards the left arm. So, this is the commonest presentation. Along with pain, patient can also have sweating excessive sweating, profuse sweating, so much so that even the inner uh, inner wear such as banyan or even a shirt can get completely wet. Along with sweating, patient can have giddiness. These are all rare symptoms, but they are possible. Like for example, giddiness, patient can have giddiness or patient can have breathing difficulty. Now, patient, if they walk a little uh, distance, like few steps, they can have pain and along with pain, they will have breathing difficulty. So, these are the uh, symptoms which are usually seen with non-diabetic patients. Whereas, diabetic patients, they are a special group. Why I say they are special group? Because long-standing diabetes, that is patients who have got diabetes for more than 5 or 10 years, usually what happens, the diabetes will slowly destroy the nerve supply to the heart and these, these things poses a very bad thing for the heart. Why? Because even if there is a blood supply reduction for the heart, still the pain will not arise. That counter response of the body or the heart is not seen and the patient will not feel pain. That's why when a diabetic person comes to our OPD, we have seen that some of the patients will have already suffered a heart attack somewhere in the past. And if, I, if we ask the patient, they will always deny that patient had any chest pain. Such patients we call that uh, patient would have had a silent attack. So, this is where the silent attack comes, where the patient can just have some mild acidity like features or breathing difficulty and such patients will not have any chest pain. And such patients are very dangerous because sometimes even at night while sleeping or while early morning during the sleep, patient can suddenly have an attack and patient might die also without any symptom. If there is a, a patient who has got non-diabetic, patient might have some pain and might get up. But in diabetic, it becomes quite difficult to diagnose. So, we have to be quite careful. That's why anybody who gets diabetes should also assume that whenever he gets checked for diabetes, he should also get checked for heart also for any problem. So, these are like common features, common symptoms. And one of the common things what we have seen is especially among females and uh, diabetic patients, they present with uh, burning sensation in the stomach. Majority of them think that it is acidity or some gas formation. They will have some eno or some tablets of for the gas or acidity and then they will feel okay, it will come down. And in that process, they will not go to a doctor. So, that is a very bad idea, especially patients who are of o over 40 years of age and who are diabetic, I suggest any kind of pain around the chest, please go to a doctor once 
at least once get an ecg done that is the minimum you can do and that is for your safety okay sir and what is heart healthy diet so when we say diet basically it is concerning about our food habits so all these diet exercise our uh, mental health everything comes in lifestyle changes so anybody who has heart related problems they should have lifestyle changes in that the most important thing is diet diet is the food habits so one food habit we should remember that those uh, majority of the heart patients those who present with heart problems majority not all but majority of them will be little overweight or obese they will be having some kind of a diabetes hypertension or some kind of a metabolic disorders metabolic disorders in the sense there can be some hyper um, hyperuremia or hyperuricemia or hyperhomocysteinemia so these are some of the defects of uh, body wherein some proteins are abnormally high so diet also affects these things so we should be careful as to what diet we are taking so when it, when we come to diet okay according to the heart function we decide how much water a person should drink ideally if heart functioning is good we advise the patient to take minimum 2 to 2 and 1/2 liters minimum in a day especially in a, a belt uh, that is the towards the equator where the heat is more they can have little bit more up to 3 liters but only if the heart function is good if the heart function is little less or heart is little weaker we have different classification as to how much water has to be drunk and for that always the patient has to consult the doctor because based on the medicine dosage they will decide how much water has to be drunk so once now we come across uh, water now we will go for proper food habits so when we say food so we have something called as uh, cereals pulses and then fibers then there are fruits vegetables and uh, some um, nuts dry fruits we can say okay and there is of course non vegetarian food also for non vegetarians okay as we have seen majority of the times um, the uh, population uh, there is a trend that people are going towards vegetarianism or veganism uh, that is in a way healthy quite healthy for uh, um, heart patients but if they prefer non vegetarian food there is no harm we can adjust our food such that it can also taste better for our palates and our taste so coming to uh, pulses and uh, cereals of course among cereals wheat and jowar is quite good uh, but we should remember that when i talk about wheat it is not the bakery items i talk about home made foods such as fulkas chapatis or um, even poli in some local languages they are known as poli and these things are much better than white rice the white rice what we eat is pure carbohydrate and should be reduced to the minimum and uh, almost uh, uh, in a day maybe a small bowl of rice will be more than enough other than that uh, when it comes to chapatis or jowar rotis and all that maybe uh, one or two rotis at a time for three servings that is morning afternoon and evening usually three servings have to be taken compulsorily you should not skip food to make sure that you lose weight that is quite harmful and might be dangerous also for the heart and other than that when we come to uh, pulses we should remember that uh, there are a lot of uh, pulses legumes these are protein rich in nature horse gram black grams dals different kinds of dals are there these are very very important and we should have at least one serving of pulses one serving in the sense at least one time in a day about a cup of pulses is extremely important this is the minimum you should have of course for some people who like pulses can have two servings at the most then other than pulses we come to vegetables and fruits so we should remember that uh, some people are in a habit of skipping lunch so i would suggest not to skip lunch or not to skip any food uh, uh, throughout the day you should have at least three times if you don't want to have proper food then you can uh, plan to have some fruits in the afternoon so as i said fruits and vegetables you should have three servings in a day so you can uh, have vegetables in the morning and uh, a bowl of vegetable 
in the night and you can keep fruits in the afternoon so this comes to vegetable and fruits among vegetables um, ideally all vegetables are good and you should try to rotate vegetables whichever you like you can have that as more often uh, some of the vegetables like uh, green leafy vegetables are quite rich in iron and they have to be taken they are quite good for heart and other than that we have uh, some routine uh, vegetables like uh, ladies fingers they are very good and they are quite rich in fibers which is also again uh, quite important in heart diseases it is proven beyond doubt that uh, three servings of vegetables and a good amount of fiber also helps us to reduce the heart uh, risk for the heart disease so that is one uh, then coming to um, dry uh, these dry fruits or nuts so dry fruits and nuts we should remember that uh, cashews as much as possible should be avoided there are some other dry fruits like badam walnuts or pistas they are quite good and can be had you can have it them and um, when you have them make sure that it should be uh, eaten or it should be consumed in a very limited quantity and uh, uh, per day you should make sure that at least a uh, half serving of dry fruits if you can have it it's well and good for your heart so other than that uh, coming to non vegetarian food in non vegetarian food uh, definitely red meat has to be avoided as much as possible the red meat includes beef mutton and uh, all other non domesticated animals also they should be avoided as much as possible whereas some items such as chicken if person is interested in chicken they can have chicken and uh, chicken at least uh, maybe once in a week can be a uh, hey, one serving is good enough whereas uh, if you like fish then there is a uh, then that is a very good option for heart because we have seen that there are many um, data and there are many studies which show that fish especially the sea fish contains lot of polyunsaturated fatty acids which are extremely good for heart and they can also help in reducing the overall cholesterol levels in your body which is quite good and can prevent a future heart attack so these are the ones now coming to vitamins and other supplements so fruits are very good supplements for uh, vitamins and uh, uh, some of the uh, doctors or some of the hospitals might give some supplemental vitamins such as uh, vitamin b12 especially for vegetarians vitamin b12 supplementation is extremely important and should be taken because it keeps our nerves healthy and also it indirectly helps to maintain our hemoglobin and also to keep our heart healthy other than those other than that vitamin uh, other vitamins like a e d they are quite helpful but uh, we do not have a direct evidence that when we give an external supplement like tablet or capsule then there is a reduction in the risk for heart problems so but there is a adequate evidence that when these vitamins are taken in the form of fruits or vegetables they do help and they do reduce the risk for heart problems in the future so these are extremely important and along with that uh, there is potassium so potassium is available as in banana potassium is also available as separately as a potassium salt it is available in uh, coconut water and uh, uh, guava so these uh, potassium when it is to be taken in uh, adequate quantity it is known to reduce the risk of heart attacks in future also when we talk of potassium we should also talk about sodium too so sodium for a normal person without any heart diseases it is suggested that up to 5 grams of salt has to be taken in a day to maintain our salt levels or sodium levels in the body but uh, when it comes to the heart disease it is known very low very well known that reducing the salt intake a little bit and uh, not too much but reducing the salt intake a little bit will help in long term to reduce the long term heart related issues such as heart attacks in future so what is the ideal amount of salt we should take about 2 to 3 grams which in indian food 2 to 3 grams we get it through our vegetables sambars or rasams and that is more than enough but we should try to avoid uh, uh, pickles 
or papads or dried fishes which contain more salt so those things have to be avoided especially patients who are suffering from heart diseases okay so other than uh, vitamins and uh, sodium and potassium then there are some rare elements such as selenium so there are some areas in uh, uh, china which are selenium deficient so such uh, we have seen that studies have shown that such areas the pro uh, problems such as heart diseases are very very common and they are quite rampant so selenium uh, is also quite important it is not easily available in all foods but whatever food we take usually adequate amount of selenium is guaranteed but if at all some people think that selenium some doctors if they check and if they feel that selenium is deficient in such patients says selenium supplements are also available sir what is the best exercise for healthy heart so as i said lifestyle changes this umbrella of lifestyle changes should include uh, the diet the exercise and also our mental health and our routine so exercise is also an important pillar of this particular uh, therapy that is lifestyle changes exercise if you go through guidelines guidelines are quite clear that moderate to strenuous exercise if done on regular basis will reduce the cardiac heart uh, cardiac diseases or heart uh, problems in future so if you see strenuous exercise is nothing but it is defined as people who do about 150 to 300 minutes per week of exercise and strenuous exercise includes usually uh, simple weights or uh, mountain climbing cross country racing so these are known as strenuous exercises whereas if you see the moderate exercise the moderate exercise is defined as people who do swimming jogging or cycling and up to about 150 minutes 75 to 150 minutes so this is known as moderate jogging anything less than 75 minutes is considered as light exercise and has to be avoided as much as possible if we see for a normal person if he does about 20 minutes to 30 minutes per day of um, uh, walking or jogging that is more than enough for a heart patient but of course when we say exercise you should always consult a doctor before uh, starting your own therapy or before starting your exercise regimen why because majority of the uh, gyms or training classes they are not well qualified to decide regarding how much of uh, exercise has to be done and what is the amount of stress you have to take because uh, there are a lot of uh, incidents which happened recently wherein people have joined gym and they ended up with a heart attack so we have to know what is the limits and what is our endurance so endurance or especially the human endurance has a limit and uh, we should make sure that uh, we should not we should get trained but we should not get strained sir why mediterranean diet is good for healthy heart hmm. so mediterranean diet is nothing but this is the diet which is being consumed around the mediterranean sea okay, okay. so mediterranean sea they have different culture they have uh, different things they grow around the mediterranean sea so majority of the studies which have happened in the cardiac field have happened mostly in the europe and european regions and uh, the diet which is being consumed in us or canada is also mostly vegetarian because most of the people who are there are western people or uh, the race they follow the same kind of culture so we are now slowly coming up with indian data too but uh, as we know we have majority of the data that is concerned with the mediterranean diet and of course mediterranean diet is supposed to be good wherein they even consider that uh, uh, about red wine that is uh, at least once or twice in a week is good for the health so uh, in indian context of course we lack data but uh, if we make sure that we have a adequate amount of uh, protein uh, in our diet by reducing our fat overall fat intake and also overall carbohydrate intake then we can pretty much achieve the same uh, results as that of mediterranean diet foods that can reverse heart disease okay so food that reverses heart disease um there are some data with regards to uh, fruits raw food such as uh, uh, salads and all that along with salads um it is known that uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid food especially the fish and the fish oil contains 
those are uh, known to at least they we have some data saying that it can reverse the heart disease to some extent uh, but of course we need to see in indians we do not know yet that indians uh, have that same effect okay sir can you please uh, tell us 10 healthy tips for healthy heart so 10 tips for healthy heart one uh, the most important thing is uh, diet diet have three times daily three times of food wherein uh, you have uh, three servings of vegetables or fruits and one serving of pulses and three servings of uh, cereals along with that try to avoid as much as poss- possible the packed items packed food bakery items are bad they contain a lot of trans fatty acids which are not good especially the chips and finger finger chips um which is uh, which is served quite uh, abundantly in most of the restaurants have to be avoided as much as possible along with that uh, this is the diet then coming to exercise have a moderate uh, uh, moderately uh, moderate exercises such as uh, jogging swimming and cycling up to about 75 to 150 minutes in a week so with at least one day of gap will be ideal and other than that vegetarianism is the growing uh, uh, trend and veganism is also quite good that is if you are uh, more inclined towards it that's uh, quite healthy but then if you are a non vegetarian guy then please do take uh, fish or uh, chicken to some extent but avoid red meat as much as possible and the most important thing which i always talk about is people who are smokers you have to sm- uh, stop smoking there is no other alternative and uh, whatever addiction is there to the smoking is mostly the mental uh, addiction and it can be stopped immediately so other than that alcohol intake alcohol intake uh, the wines when it is consumed in moderate quantities is known to have some benefit uh, of course in indian context as much as possible avoid it as much as possible and if you want to have it then have wines or uh, small uh, uh, the drinks which have got smaller percentage of alcohol then other than that uh, coming to uh, mental health make sure you do some kind of uh, exercises breathing techniques or yoga wherein you have a very good calm life make sure uh, that your working environment especially in your offices and wherever you do job has to be quite calm and according to your convenience and uh, try to avoid night shifts as much as possible then uh, coming to the next point that is sleep extremely important sleep uh, the recent uh, there was a study in uh, 2022 which was published in european society of cardiology where it showed that the sleep reduction of almost 4 hours per day has got a very high incidence of heart attacks and heart uh, failures so sleep has to be important and not just any sleep it has to be a good deep sleep deep sleep of at least 6 to 7 hours in a day eight point very important uh, once you are crossing 40 years of age if you don't have any problem but still you visit a doctor a physician at least once in 2 years get all the body a uh, whole body checkup done on regular basis and if you are a diabetic then please visit at least once in a year at least twice is quite ideal and if you are a heart patient then minimum once in 6 months is ideal along with that coming to ninth point when if you are a heart patient make sure you have control over your salt intake and water intake and that has to be decided by the uh, treating doctor that how much of water and salt has to be taken extremely important so 10th point um, make sure that uh, you have a proper family history of uh, heart disease if you have any of your family close family members like uh, first degree relatives like father mother Uh, or brothers who are suffering from heart disease such people should go and visit a physician once at least to make sure that they don't suffer from the same disease and uh, another point an additional point now that i have given 10 points 11th point will be free so 11th point make sure if you have a problems long term problems like some autoimmune diseases rheumatoid arthritis or uh, even uh, allergic diseases or skin related issues even they can suffer from heart diseases 
So when you visit any of the uh, doctors such as rheumatologist or skin specialist, do ask them that whether there is a chance that you might develop a heart disease. If they say yes, then please do visit a physician or a cardiologist. And uh, one more thing I would like to say, that is 12th point. So 12th point, anybody who wants to go to a gym for a regular training and all that, uh, especially there is something called as HIT or high intensity training. Uh, make sure you visit a cardiologist before going to such training because they are not organized in our country. There are no guidelines as to who should do it and who should avoid it. And there is a very, very low awareness, especially among the youth. And because they watch a lot of Bollywood movies, they tend to have a impression that developing body is more important than health. So please do visit a cardiologist, get a clearance and then go ahead with high intensity. Sir, what are the top fruits for a healthy heart? So, fruits fruits are very important. So, there was one study wherein um, it was shown that uh, fruits when consumed whole are more, uh, uh, more helpful and more nutritious and more uh, uh, beneficial for the heart rather than making it into a juice. So, as when a fruit is consumed as a whole, you actually eat up a lot of fibers too. And that fibers, it reduces the glucose intake, reduces the overall sudden glucose spike which usually happens with the juice and also along with that it reduces the overall fat intake also so fruits uh, the best fruit i would say or uh, easily available fruits are apple oranges and um, some other fruits like uh, pears they are also quite good um, for diabetic patients better to avoid watermelon and uh, some sweet fruits like uh, uh, to some extent bananas can be avoided and jackfruits, these things have to be avoided as much as possible. For others, they can have at least one fruit in a day. Okay. So, thank you very much for your valuable time. Yeah.